I'm sure you have heard of buy low, sell high once in your life before, but you probably don't understand the reasoning why and how to use it when trading the forex markets. So in this video, I will be showing you exactly how to use it and the exact tools that you can use to help identify when to buy and when to sell. If you have gained value from this video or if there is a positive ROI for your attention, my only ask is that you subscribe and share this video with someone looking to accelerate their progress in forex trading. So let's get right into the video. Now, so buy low sell high is basically a dumb down version of premium and discount arrays. Sounds confusing. What is a premium and discount array? It is basically zones in which people are keen to buy because it's in a discounted price range and people are keen to sell because it's in a premium price range. Seems easy enough, right? Now, how do you identify them? By using a Fibonacci tool. So take this down. In an uptrend, draw the FIB from a swing low to a swing high. And for a downtrend, draw the FIB from a swing high to a swing low. Now, anything above the 0.5 point in the FIB tool, this is considered the premium range. You look to sell in the zone. Anything below the 0.5 point in the FIB tool, this is considered a discount range. You'll be looking to buy within the zone. Look at these two examples over here. You can see when the price touches the upper half of the FIB tool, price tends to drop. And when price touches the lower half of the FIB tool, price tends to pump. Now, you must be asking, how do I identify the swing high or low? Well, it's actually really, really simple. In a downtrend, you pick out the most recent high that was formed and you just extend it to the low that price has just made. Similarly, in an uptrend, identify the most recent low form and drag it out to the most recent high form. Why does this work? Let's take a look at a historical weekly chart on XUUSD. You can see since 2020, price expanded all the way from 2080 from the lows of 1480. So what we can do is draw the FIP from the 1480 to the 2080 level. As you can see, each time price comes below the 0.5 level on the FIP, price tends to rally upwards in an uptrend every single time without fail. So what you can see here is that people are more likely to buy at a discount because, well, who doesn't like buying cheap, right? It's just human nature. If they view something's undervalued, they will buy. Same thing goes for the premium zone. Anytime price becomes overvalued, it becomes too expensive, people tend to sell or take profit. So how do we use it as a confluence for your trading strategy? Well, it's pretty simple. You can use what you have learned previously in video four. This will be combining support and resistance levels together with the FIP tool. Let's take a look at the example on the right hand side. Over here, we can see price is at a key level where price is consistently rejecting as support or resistance. This level is a strong zone because it has multiple taps over a long period of time. So what you can do here is mark out the last swing high and the swing low and draw the FIB. Once the FIB is drawn, you can look to take a sell at this point when price lines up with resistance with your stops above the swing high targeting lower lows. This is just a very quick example of combining premium and discount range with support and resistance. One other way you can use this is basically combining it with order blocks, but don't worry, it'll be covered later in another video. So basically stay tuned. In summary, let's keep it real simple. If you see price is in a discount zone, you must avoid shorting. If you see a premium zone, then avoid longing. You want to play and enter the market when you have an itch. And this premium and discount range will help you do just that. So what you can do right after this video ends is go to trading view, look at the charts and start drawing your premium discount ranges to see, you know, where are the good areas to long and short and doing a multiple pairs until you're really, really good with it. So that's basically it. Real simple stuff. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. Now, if you have missed out part one and part two of this beginner forex series, click the card here on the top right corner of your screen to watch them. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel if you haven't already done so to keep updated when part four of the series gets released. I'll see you in the next video.